Nobody, and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. Yay! Today, we have a very special build. <laughs> Sound like I'm giving a speech. <laughs> Today, the Bowtie Man, me by the way, is creating a very special build. A build that has been suggested and suggested and suggested by you lovely subscribers. For literally, yonks. Who says yonks anymore? <laughs> Does anyone say yonks anymore? <laughs> so yes, finally, we are making a redstone armor swapper. Finally! <laughs> you guys have been waiting too long for this song. I'm very sorry. <laughs> so are you ready to see it? Here it is. No? <laughs> Not good enough? Okay, let's do this again. Still not mind-blowing enough? Fine. Third attempt. This is the last try. Okay, so now you've had your fly around tour, how does this build actually work? Well, first of all, you have to choose your armor. So for example, let's go for the gold. So I press the button up here, underneath the gold. And then a few seconds later, our gold armor will appear here. Very nice. So let's just take off the chest plate and let's take off the boots. Press this button and that armor stand will get stored basically in the gold slot. So if I choose gold again, that exact armor stand will come back to here, as you'll see. So I press this button, wait a few seconds, and then eventually it'll pop up here. There we are. As you can see, I have its chest plate and I have its boots. There we are. <laughs> it's fully clothed again. Very nice. <laughs> And then when I press this button, basically it places the armor stand back and the system is reset. So now we can choose a different armor stand. It's really, really simple. When I choose this gold one here, when I press this button, you can see this gold armor makes its way along this water down to the slime block, gets launched up through the floor. Then, when I press this button to reset it, it drops down, goes along here, goes back into its slot, and the thing resets. It's really, really simple. Now, I know you've seen it already, but let's just take another look at this redstone. Ah, just look at it. It's lovely. <laughs> so, so, so very compact. Really, really nice. Okay, so now you've seen the build, and you've uh, seen it working. <laughs> let's get on with this tutorial. So for this amazing build, you're going to need three regular pistons, 22 sticky pistons, six observers, eight redstone repeaters, five redstone torches, 17 redstone dust, seven redstone blocks, eight droppers, eight comparators, four rubbish blocks, basically a block you don't mind throwing away, one dispenser, one slime block, two tripwire hooks, four string, four soul sand. Yes, I know that's weird, but you definitely need four soul sand. Two immovable blocks, I'm going to be using obsidian, nine signs, one post. <laughs> ah, fence post together. Post. <laughs> Nine signs, one fence post, two slabs, one stair block, 40 glass blocks, five buttons, five buckets of water, 46 blocks for the rest of them to go on, event heavy blocks you need for a decoration. Nine signs, one post. Okay, to start this build, you first need to dig out quite a large hole, okay? <laughs> now, this hole needs to be 12 wide by 10 long. So first of all, that's 12 wide. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 by 10 long. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we just clear out these blocks here. But this needs to be nine deep. <laughs> so do that eight more times. Now, just a little disclaimer this hole is much larger than the build itself, but I just basically made it this large so we have room to go around it. <laughs> you're building it yourself you might want to make it a little bit smaller but it's completely up to you okay so now you have your hole all dug out very nice come to this block here now let's just witness the moment you record half a video and then you realize you did it completely wrong <laughs> another one out and another bit of dust what have i done wrong i've done something wrong I've done it all wrong. No. Okay, this is really bad. I was halfway through building it and I've done it completely wrong. <laughs> and I'm running out of recording time. Okay, so I'm really sorry if this sounds a little rushed, <laughs> but I have no time. <laughs> Great, now, okay. So come down to this corner here. 
place one, two, three blocks out, remove the first two. From this block, place four more blocks, one, two, three, four, remove the first four, one, two, three, four, and on top of this block, we need a decoration block like this. On this block, we need a button. Now this button here is our reset button. Now two temporary blocks like this, one, two, and another decoration block, remove these two, and then three more decoration blocks like this, with a button on each. Now these buttons here are your selector panel. Underneath these blocks, we need four droppers facing downward. Tempe block here, one down. Remove this block, and we need a dropper going into every single dropper, like so. Okay. In these top droppers, we would basically need to place a block you don't mind throwing away, hence I'm using dirt. Then <laughs> crouch and place a block here, and four along. Block down and one to the back, and again, four along. And four comparators going away from these droppers, like that. So that comparator is actually detecting that dropper through that block. Then place a block here and one up, and four along. Then grab four sticky pistons and place them like this. One, two, three, four. Now before we place our blocks of redstone in front of these sticky pistons, we need to place a block here and one down. Remove this one and then four along. And have four repeaters going toward the front, all a one tick delay. And now we can place our blocks of redstone. So it's one, two, three, four, and our repeaters should turn on. Then in front of our repeaters, we need four sticky pistons, which each should extend. And then four decoration blocks. They don't need to be decorative, but basically four blocks in front of our sticky pistons, like so. After you've done that, come around to the back and come underneath here. And first you need to place a block underneath this block of redstone and a sticky piston facing downward. Okay, and then we want a line of sticky pistons facing downward like that. Now going toward the front, we need an observer like this. So the dot should be going toward the front and the face should be going toward the back on every single piston like so. Then a temporary block here and one down. Move this block and again four along. And on these blocks, we need torches like this. One, two, three, four. In front of these torches, we need to have four sticky pistons. One, two, three, four. And then four soul sand like this. One, two, three, and four. Now you need to use soul sand. If you use another block, this build will sometimes break. You need to use soul sand, okay? <laughs> then place a block here, a piece of obsidian here, then come down one, two, three blocks on the side of that obsidian. Remove these two. Sticky piston facing upward here, and a slime block here. And remove this block here. I can't believe I've done it again. <laughs> this bit's wrong, okay? <laughs> Whatever you just did here, it's wrong, okay? The block goes here, the obsidian goes here, and the sticky piston goes here. <laughs> it's one block back from where it was. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. And I want to grab some glass and place it like this. One, two, three, four on top of these sticky pistons, and then four on top of these glass. One, two, three, four. Then come up to the top here, and on these sticky piston arms, we want, again, four pieces of glass. Brilliant. Okay, after that, we want to come behind this block here. And first you place a temporary block here and one down, remove this block, and then have a repeater on one tick delay coming away from that block there. All right, then a piston facing toward the back and an immovable block here. I'm using obsidian, as you can see. <laughs> then a redstone torch here and a sticky piston facing toward the front here. And then a block like this. So when I press this button here, this piston should retract and then extend. Brilliant. And then we want to grab a block and place it here, and two more out, and dust on each. One, two, three. Then four blocks like this. One, two, three, four. Two comparators facing toward this dust here. One and two. And two comparators facing this way. One and two. In front of these ones here, we want a block. One here and one out. And dust on both. Then place dust on these four blocks here. One, two, three, four. And then grab a torch and place it like this. Okay, so after you've done that, come over to the right hand side here, and first you place a temporary block here, and then two more up. One and two, and remove the first two. One and two. Now on this block here, we need a tripwire hook. Now place one, two, three, four bits of string, a block in front of our last, another one to the left, remove this one, and then another tripwire hook like this, which should now connect them both, as you can hear. Brilliant. <laughs> now Place a temporary block next to this tripwire hook and a sticky piston facing downward. Remove this block and dust here. Then grab an observer and place it facing toward the right so the face should be facing toward these pistons here. 
A block here. A temporary block down. And two out. One, two. A repeater here on three tick delay. And dust. Like that. <laughs> I couldn't get to the dust. <laughs> that my finger wasn't working. <laughs> so now, when I go in this tripwire hook, nothing should happen. But when I go out, we should have a short pulse for our uh, sticky piston and slime block. Perfect. <laughs> now I'll place a block here and a repeater on two tick delay coming this way. We can remove this block here. Temporary block here and one up. A block here. Sorry, move, move that block here. A temporary block above. A slab here. A temporary block above this one. And a slab on this side. And we can move these two and dust on both. And I'm just realizing you actually don't need a slab here. <laughs> you can use a block. So again, my list is going to be slightly wrong. <laughs> then on the side of this slab, place a block. Then grab a sticky piston and face it upward. That dust should be connecting to it. Then remove this block and a block of redstone here. Oh, and I forgot. Dust on this block as well. Now when our armor stand gets launched up here, it's going to land on a block here. Now if you don't mind the armor stand landing really to the left of the block, okay, um, then you just place an immovable block here. It will still work, it will just look a bit funny. But if you want it more in the center, as that one is over here, what you need to do is this. <laughs> so what you need to do is firstly place a block underneath this one, one to the left toward these observers, remove this block, and a repeater on four tick delay. So press it down and press it three times. Block here, and then dust on top of this block, which I failed to grab. <laughs> then we want a sticky piston, and we want to place it off the side of that block facing toward the front, like that. A block of redstone in front of that sticky piston. A regular piston in here. A temporary block here. A, a fence here. I need to say a spruce fence because I was reading it. Any fence. <laughs> and then remove this block. Now just to finish off the main part of the redstone, what you need to do is first you need to grab a sticky piston and place it underneath this block here. And a block of redstone like this. Then on top of this block, which we placed earlier with the tripwire hook, we need dust. Then grab a piston and place it off the side of that dust like this. Nope, like that. <laughs> then have an observer coming upward off that piston so the dot should be going toward the sky. And then a dispenser here. And in that dispenser, we need a bucket of water. Then grab a sign and place it like this. All right? Do not press this button yet, otherwise you will flood your build, okay? <laughs> okay, now we have the scary job of placing in all the water. <laughs> okay, so firstly, what you need to do is make sure you have enough glass everywhere. So firstly, place two blocks of glass like this. One, two. It doesn't need to be glass. It can be any block, but I'm just using glass because it's easier to see through. <laughs> then a, a bit of glass here and on this side. We also need one here, which is next to this block. See it there? Then a line like this going along. Then we block here and one up. And now we can place a bucket of water on this block here. You see it should run to the side. But it's not spilling out because the sign's behind it and the glass is covering it from the sides. Brilliant. <laughs> so now when I press this button, what we should have is the water does that. If it spills everywhere, you've done it wrong. <laughs> After you've done that, come down to the bottom here. And first you place two temporary blocks like this. One, two. Remove the first one and have some stairs like this. Then remove this block and have a block on either side of the stairs. Two blocks above this one. Temporary block on the corner here, and a piece of glass. Remove this block, and one above. And we want to do this all along until here. And on these eight pieces of glass here, we need a sign on every single one. Like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I just had to check where the last two bits of glass went. <laughs> one goes here, next to the sticky piston, and one goes here, underneath this block. And now what I want you to do is to grab a water bucket and basically waterlog this stairs, like this. So hopefully you've done it right, it should go all along like this, to here. Now basically just decorate. So we want to place some flooring blocks like this, make sure there's one in front of our piston, all along. That's you, how you how you, ever you do this. <laughs> I just like to have a way so I know which armor stand it is. So what I like to do is place blocks at the back like that, and then have item frames with the various armors like this. Because now we just have to fill up our system with armor stands. So first of all, press the first button. We should open up our first slot. And what you need to do 
is place the armor stand here, fill it with the armor you want to go in that slot, and then press the button. And as you see, it will make its way all along here, and it will close it up behind it. Beautiful. Then do the same for the second. Now you see it's open. So I can place the armor stand down here. So I want this one to be iron, so I place some iron chest plate. I'm not gonna be I can't be bothered to fill it up completely. <laughs> Press the button and then watch it go along and drop down. Now you see it close up behind it. Then the gold. So an armor stand goes here with gold. Press the button. It'll make its way. Brilliant. And then lastly the diamond. So, armor stand, diamond, press the button, it'll make its way. And there we are. So now, when I want, for example, the iron, press the button, it'll go along here, get fired up, and now I have our iron. Brilliant. <laughs> and then reset. Finally. <laughs> As stated earlier in this build, when you're waiting for this build to reset, or you actually have an armor stand physically out here, you're not allowed to press one of these buttons, okay? Because you could break it. You have to wait until that very loud click as you'll hear now. So when I press this button, you can see I'm not allowed to press one of these buttons until we hear this very loud click. Are you ready? There we are. And now we can press one of these four buttons. But what happens if we want something a little bit more obvious? For example, a redstone lamp. So when the redstone lamp is on, we can press one of these buttons. But when it is off, we're not allowed to. Would that be better? <laughs> so what you need to do is go around the back and firstly place a line of slabs on the top side of these pistons here. Okay, and dust on each. One, two, three, four. Then have a piston and want it facing downward off that dust. Unfortunately, this does make the build a little bit larger, which is a bit of a shame. Then a torch above that piston. A block above. Torch, block, torch, block. Then... Uh, two blocks out and then one here one up here and two bits of dust and that's it <laughs> so now it's on so i can press one of these buttons but as soon as one is selected it turns off because it doesn't want me to press any of these buttons then i reset it and it's still off until this closes and the build gets reset there we are so now i can choose another one brilliant <laughs> And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, oh dear, <laughs> that's too close. <laughs> oh, let's try that again. Please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one and I'll see you later. Bye.